Why are they all 399 square feet? Community, to me, seems to be a more valuable aspect. You know, take a Sunday afternoon nap on if I was so inclined. The more stuff you own, the more your stuff owns you. My name is Brian and this is my tiny home in Village Farm, Tiny Home Agri-Hood. So now we're in my kitchen. As you can see, I have this very large stainless steel farm sink. Quite helpful to me. I'm constantly involved in one project or another. Uh, the other day I had a large motorcycle seat in here cleaning it up uh, for one of my motorcycles. Love the uh, spray flexible uh, hose attachment here and if I run out of counter space I have this little gizmo here that I can roll out to give me a little help if I'm trying to do some food prep here. A uh, little chopping block here. Gas stove and not all the properties here in the community do have gas available. Uh, I'm not sure on the other side if they have gas at all. Uh, but I do have gas stove, oven, and hot water here. Uh, cabinet space is a little short in here, uh, particularly since I took one out over here when I opened this area up. This used to just be a narrow doorway and I wanted a breakfast bar here and so I tore that wall out and modified uh, this area right here to give more uh, visual sight line, I guess we'd call it. Uh, love my little modern European style Venna hood here and the, the brush stainless backsplash. Uh, have a, uh, I'm not sure we'd call it a uh, uh, an apartment size fridge freezer over there, but it's adequate for me. Uh, microwave over here and then I have a uh, combination washer and dryer in one unit. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that. I like the uh, functionality where I can just throw things into it and hit a button and turn a knob and it does its own thing. However, what I've discovered uh, in the way that it works, uh, things come out with more wrinkles on them than when they went in uh, fairly frequently unless I really watch it closely, hover over it, and do test pulls from time to time. So, uh, frankly, would prefer to have my old washer and dryer that I sold for 200 bucks uh, when I bought this place here. So we're in my living room now, uh, and I don't know that we've talked about square footage, yet the total home is 399 square feet. The living room that you see here is, I'm going to guesstimate, about 110, uh, 120 square feet, about 10, 10 or 11 by 11-ish, uh, by my estimate. A little uh, difficult to find a sofa that would fit in this corner here uh, and allow me to have a couple of bar stools here and still be comfortable enough to you know, take a Sunday afternoon nap on if I was so inclined. Furnishings, uh, when I bought the house, uh, I am the second owner. Uh, it came with a mantle, I can't take credit for that. Uh, and uh, I added the electronic fireplace for an additional heat source in the wintertime. And of course, big screen TV, and it is on an articulating arm here so I can rotate it and change the direction. Uh, the home, by the way, is equipped with Mitsubishi mini splits, uh, one in the bedroom and one in the living room here, and they are controlled by wireless remote controls. Uh, and I also have a panel right here for this one and then another one in the bedroom, so I have two different ways of controlling the mini splits. I have ceiling fans uh, in the living room, the bedroom, and the front and back deck. So I've been uh, following the tiny home movement uh, since it began with Jay Schaefer back in 1999. Jay was uh, <clears throat> the first individual, uh, as far as I know, who built a home on a double axle trailer and then drove it around the country. 
uh, selling plans on how you too can build this tiny home and live in it. Uh, he lived in that home for five years. Uh, his uh, company was called Tumbleweed Tiny Homes, uh, eventually sold that company. The company still exists, but a, uh, a larger firm or conglomerate purchased the company and they still sell the plans and also will build you <coughs> excuse me, a home gear specifications using their plans. I followed that movement along the way. Of course, there have been numerous TV programs about tiny home living and shopping for tiny homes. And uh, About five or six years ago, uh, I started thinking uh, that there was not a, uh, a forum out there for people to discuss infrastructure and issues related to uh, building out a tiny home community. So I created a Facebook page called Tiny Home Community Forum, thinking that uh, it would be uh, like a chat room that people can come into and discuss various issues. Uh, as you may know, uh, tiny homes are <coughs> frequently not allowed due to zoning problems and uh, people who have land where they can put a tiny home, maybe some property, uh, acreage, what have you, they're fortunate, uh, but then they end up out there in the middle of a field by themselves and uh, community to me seems to be a more valuable aspect of at least this style of tiny home living. So now we're in the back bedroom. Well, I should say the only bedroom, obviously, since we're in 399 square feet. By the way, why are they all 399 square feet? Interesting. 400 square feet and above a home structure is considered real estate and is taxable. 399 square feet and below a dwelling or structure being used as a home becomes personal property and is no longer taxable. Now, that said, you do pay tax like you would with an automobile uh, when you purchase it but there's no annual school and property tax associated with a 399 square foot home. So there you go. Uh, bedroom, again, we have vaulted ceiling with the faux beams up here, ceiling fan, a couple, uh, I'd call them, I guess, industrial uh, themed lights, motorcycle helmet, cowboy hat, uh, a lot of stuff. Underneath the bed, you got to use every square inch you can when you're in a tiny home. So my uh, electric bass guitar and amplifier head live under there and some guitar stands and various other things. Double barn doors here. Uh, these were specced by the original owner. So one to cover the entrance into the kitchen. Then another one here to close the closet off. So this is the other half of the bedroom. This is the bike garage. As you can see, I have uh, one bike up in the hoist here. This beast is uh, a folding electric hybrid. I really don't ride it uh, very much anymore. It's been months uh, since I uh, picked up this beastie here. This is a uh, specialized carbon fiber comp six fatty. How's that for a name? Uh, fatty because of these uh, three inch wide knobby tires on it. A full suspension, of course, there, and no suspension here other than these uh, balloon tires. So, not much to say about the bathroom. You know, it's, it's not much wider than my arms can reach. Shower tub here, toilet here, uh, some storage space underneath. Nice amount of counter space here, and a uh, uh, window with a view of my tree out here. So we're out on my front porch now. Uh, nice private kind of space. I get a little privacy from the uh, wood structure around here. Uh, these are solar screens that I pop up. We just dropped out one to keep the sun out here. I keep it open on this end because the prevailing wind will blow across the porch here and it doesn't if I 
close it down there. Uh, fire pit right here actually was a previously, in his previous life, was a coffee table, an outdoor coffee table, and I had this brainstorm uh, one day to uh, drop a little propane fire pit insert in there, uh, get out the uh, angle grinder and do a little metal work and a little spray paint, and uh, there you go, fire pit becomes a coffee table again. So we're in my side yard here now. Everybody in the community gets a side yard. It's a pretty good sized space and this is on the shady side of the house in the afternoon. So a lot of folks do uh, some kind of a, a fire pit or a conversation area out here with tables and chairs. Uh, I have thought about doing that but have not done anything yet. Uh, I opted for decomposed granite here. I had a choice between grass and decomposed granite. Uh, and I decided I didn't want the headache of maintaining uh, the grass. My neighbors on the other side went with grass. They're now kind of sorry they did that and thinking about putting in AstroTurf. That said, I do have a little bit of a shade tree here and I have a shed out here. That was an option that's also available in addition to the uh, uh, second parking spot, so I have two parking spots here, plus the shed, and also have the optional rear deck, which on this house has been extended by two feet and reinforced for a hot tub and also wired with 220 volts for a hot tub as well. Uh, the original owner did have a hot tub on the back deck. Uh, I was not interested in it, so she took it with her. What I truly love about this community is the very strong sense of community. If you think about it, people who are willing to live in a 399 square foot home are people who are likely a little more open-minded, a little more willing to think outside the box, uh, or they just I like the idea of doing something that most other people are not doing, uh, living life differently, living life on their own terms. Uh, the sense of community here, uh, which is a byproduct, I feel, of uh, being like-minded in those aspects is very, very high, very strong. Uh, I am uh, very good friends with many of my neighbors and I never experienced that in suburbia or in condominiums, townhomes, apartments. Uh, and that's a very enjoyable aspect of living here. So when I first bought this place, I was reluctant to tell anyone I had purchased and was living in a tiny home uh, for fear that I might be judged, uh, that people would think I was odd or abnormal or less than adequate, perhaps. Uh, and then I noticed bit by bit, initially when I sold my Sprinter RV and the couple that bought it uh, were quite surprised by the community when they drove in and asked when they got here if they could look at my home and they were just blown away by it and loved it. Uh, and then later when I sold an SUV uh, that I had prior to this one, uh, the couple that bought that, same thing, when they uh, drove into the community, they were quite surprised by it, liked it, and asked if they could see the home. Uh, and, uh, and that scenario was repeated uh, a number of times, and uh, now, I make a point uh, of telling people I live in a tiny home community and I, I get a very different response than what I initially was thinking I would get with people kind of leaning in and saying, really, wow, what's it like? I want to hear about it. I'm, I'm curious about that.
So when I'm not in my tiny home or doing something in the uh, community here, uh, I travel either by motorcycle or in my 2003 Volkswagen Eurovan. 2003 is the last year that Volkswagen brought these into the United States. So this is the newest Volkswagen van that you can purchase. Uh, as a result, these are going up in value uh, because they haven't been made in 20 years almost. Uh, you'll notice it has a table here. Even though it's not a tall top, uh, it's very easy to get in and out of. The table folds down with a press of a button here. Just like that, it's out of the way. I can put a bicycle in here. This back seat folds down into a queen size bed. It does slide forward when it does that, so it gets a little tight up here. I have a 12 volt fridge freezer here, microwave down here, and a spot for my lithium iron battery bank that'll power the uh, fridge for about three days. Uh, if I don't have my solar array out or if I'm not driving. But whenever I drive, uh, I have it wired so that the alternator in the van will automatically be recharging my battery bank that powers the fridge freezer. Uh, in the back, myself and a friend of mine who has a very, very nice wood shop built this drawer for all of the various tools and equipment and camping supplies and so forth that I need to carry. Of course, there's additional storage up here as well. And then I have two uh, USB powered fans up here that run off lithium ion battery sticks, uh, solar panels underneath here. Uh, this is a pop-up shower or potty uh, shelter, which I've never needed to use. And then I have another screened in shelter that hangs off this here area here to extend the space in, uh, enclosed with a uh, kind of like a screen porch essentially. Bicycle rack right here currently uh, set up for just one bike uh, but I can easily put a second attachment on for a second bike and it's just dropped into my trailer hitch. When I want to travel on something even smaller and get away to even more remote areas this is the beastie that I ride. This is a BMW R1200 GS Adventure version. It has the eight gallon gas tank. Behind it is the road touring version, mechanically very similar, uh, but more of a, an on-road touring bike, although I have ridden these bikes off-road as well. I had a friend uh, in Dallas when I lived in Dallas. He was a member of the Austin Hilly Club and I was restoring a couple of Austin Hilly classic cars. And uh, he uh, was an interesting cat. He had owned a shop here in Austin actually before moving to Austin or Dallas <clears throat> uh, for restoring old British cars. And uh, he and I were talking over a beer one afternoon and uh, I can't remember how the conversation began, but he looked at me and said, Brian, one thing I have learned in life is that the more stuff you own, the more your stuff owns you. And that moment, that expression, what he told me on that afternoon has stuck with me ever since and kind of haunted me a little bit and motivated me to uh, become a less is more kind of a person. So thanks everybody for coming by and checking out my tiny home in Village Farm, Tiny Home Agrihood. I have a Tiny Home Community Forum Facebook page uh, that deals primarily, or I should say hoped to deal with primarily, uh, with issues surrounding creation of tiny home communities. Uh, it has ended up being more of a depository for uh, videos and photographs of tiny home communities that I have discovered in my travels or that I've found on the internet through other uh, YouTubers and Facebookers that have created videos 
on various new communities and uh, I'm surprised at the number of new new tiny home communities that there are popping up all over the country now. So thanks everybody for watching. Check out my Facebook page and take it easy. Thank you.